and welcome back to another episode of Foxy No Tales Minecraft Adventures here inside of my survival world. And today we're continuing where we were. Hang on a minute, signs everywhere. We're continuing where we left off in the uh, in the last episode, which was when we were building our giant statue. And so far, we've built the skeleton from bone blocks, as you can see over there. I've uh, done a little work on the head. I got some more bone blocks, and uh, yeah, I did a little bit more work. And today, we're going to add the skin, which is going to be made from stained glass. But before we do that, I'm going to add Luke. Oh, let's do my spelling correct today. McKay. Tracy, who said, I'm new to your vids and I love them already, smiley face, which I thought was a really nice thing to say, just to drop me a little comment there on YouTube, and that's why I've added him to my tree of life. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. I've, um, I've still got some of the sand smelting that we got in the last episode, but I've run out of dye, so I've made as much stained glass as possible using the dye that I had, and hopefully it's going to get us started. I don't think it'll finish us off, but it should get us a long way there, so let's just have a quick look at this guy before we start. I'm pretty happy with him, so we've got the, the rib cage, we've got the arms, we've got the legs, and we've got the skeleton at the top, and um, the skull, sorry, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with him. He is in a fairly standard boring pose, but this is the first statue I've ever built. So I'm going to just leave him in this sort of boring standing pose for now, just so that it, uh, yeah, just so that it works out okay. And then maybe in the future we will do another one and make it a little bit more exciting. But uh, I'm going to need to see myself for this because we are, of course, going to base this statue on my skin as much as possible. I don't know how it's going to go with the face up there because it's, uh, yeah, I don't have a mouth. <laughs> uh, but we'll see what we can do. But the uh, the clothes and everything is going to be the same. So let's get prepared then. Let's get our shulker boxes down. And uh, this one, I think, has got all of the glass in that I've I've prepared. And this one's got the rest of the dye in that I've prepared. So I've run out of red, and I've run out of ink sacks as well. So, yeah, I need a few more of those. And I've also got my silk touch pickaxe on me, so that if we do place any blocks in the wrong place, which is almost guaranteed with me, I can, uh, yeah fix it so first things first then we look at my feet and we've got a row of white followed by a row of cyan so we're gonna try and do that so i've got some white stained glass i've got a little bit of cyan stained glass so let's see how well we can get on with this so it's the white first so if we start the white sort of oh no see there we go i'm already in the wrong place thankfully i've got my silk touch pickaxe which makes gathering it a breeze so yeah we're gonna do the uh we're gonna do go around the outside of the bones like like this so it's going to be a bit weird obviously because you're going to be able to see the bones through the skin but if we didn't do it that way it would it would be yeah fairly pointless uh because you wouldn't actually be able to see um the uh the bones and uh, there were so there would have been no point in us adding them in there so we're going to do a couple of rows of white followed by a couple of rows of cyan so yeah we'll start off just doing these two feet bit like this and we're just going to work our way up as we go now the other thing is obviously i've made the feet slightly bigger than you would get with normal minecraft feet so we're going to have to these are going to be like the shoes and then we're going to have to come back in to go up the leg because the leg's going to start here so what i might do is i just pop one there and if i do a row like that we can start coming back as if it's like a proper shoe and uh, that way we'll get uh, we won't have to use quite so much cyan dye either so yeah so that glass is going to come out this way like this to go around there and then again uh it's going to come across there like that so let's see if i can gather this without it falling down no it fell down how convenient so i'm <laughs> one piece of cyan wall down now and then uh, around there like that so that, I think that should look pretty good, to be honest, if we do it like that. And then the trousers can just go up straight from there. But we can also shape it all a little bit. It doesn't have to be too blocky. So we could like cut out the edges like this to give it more of a roundness. A little bit like what I did with the skull up there. So it's not quite as Minecraft blocky. And I think that could add a little bit more detail and definition, which just might make this look a little bit better. I'm quite happy with that. how that one is. Certainly on the right-hand side foot or as the, as the statue's left foot because it's the way I'm looking at it. So let's see if we've got enough cyan wool now, just wool, glass, just to uh, just to finish this bit off. So there was a couple of pieces there, we went three round the back there, 
three round that bit there and I've only got one piece left which is a little bit of a shame but it's not the end of the world we can uh, we can certainly go and get some more of that so the next thing on my skin then we have got very dark trousers and the closest we can get to that is either black or dark grey but I've opted to go for dark grey oh so, sorry just grey because um, the black is going to obviously be used for the rest of my body. Now, I have got a lot of this because I realise we're going to need quite a lot of this. And I'm also, before I go any further, I'm going to put my armour back on, or at least my boots, so that when I fall down, I'm not going to get too damaged. I should probably be able to do this fairly swiftly without having to cut, uh, without having to show you guys too much of what's going on. So I'm just going to go round each leg like this in threes. And I'm going to keep that te definition there. I'm going to keep that cut out uh, just, just to give it, again, a little bit more more 3dness so it's not too blocky so if I go up a couple at a time I can then just walk around placing them like this and eventually I'll get to the top okay so that's the top of one leg done so as you can see it's going to be kind of a weird statue because you can see the bones through it but that's kind of the whole point really and I, yeah I'm, I'm quite happy with how that one's gone so I'm going to do the same this side and uh, yeah I'll catch up with you guys when I've got all those uh, bits of the trousers finished off Right, okay, so I've got to the top of the legs. I'm just trying to figure out now exactly where I need to bring these trousers together. And I think it's about this point here. Whoa! Ow! Oh no, <laughs> trapped inside again. Um, yeah, if you look at my skin, uh, in fact, let's press E and let's do it this way. Uh, my jumper actually does come down a little bit over the top of my trousers. So, um, yeah, so what we're going to do then is, uh, is just join those bits up at the top uh, exactly where I was just doing it there. Now... Go away! You came in the last episode, I've seen you before. Yeah, you can get rid of you, pesky zombie face. Right there, red stained glass, and I can see the zombie coming. I can see you! I can see you! You get out of here, you mini zombies, desert zombies, or whatever you call. Right, so, um, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry. Thanks very much, zombie. So yeah, that's the trousers done then. So we've got uh, we've got quite a lot of red stained glass, but I don't think it's going to last us a very long time. I've nearly just about run out of the the grey stained glass just doing the trousers and a lot more of the the t-shirt because a it's bigger anyway and b well, there's the arms to do as well. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to run out of glass doing this, but we'll get as much done as we can and uh, yeah, and then we'll uh, like, we'll go back to uh, the house and get some more. There are the couple of bits on my skin though where we've got the green bit in the middle. So I will be doing those. Um so that'll save us a little bit of the red stained clay, but uh, yeah, it's not going to save us a massive amount. What I am going to do, as I'm coming round this, doing this way, I'm also going to uh, join on with the hands as well, so that I don't have to try and pile up later on to do the hands. I've got black just at the very bottom of my hands, so if I do the red from about this point here, uh, I think that should I think that should be enough, and then underneath that we can do the black underneath there, and I'll go back down and I'll, I'll do that bit later. I'm getting shot at by a skeleton, he's trying to knock me down, where is he? I think he's just hiding around here, so there he is, was that the guy? Was it you trying to knock me down? I'll sort you out, I'm an excellent shot, you know, I can hit anyone from a million miles away, and you never know, if you hit someone from all this way away, maybe I'll get an achievement, that'd be cool, uh, but no, <laughs> maybe not. Uh, oh, I've got to be close there. Come on, there we go. Got him. Oh, I nearly got that guy then. Oh, he, he dodged. He swerved. Did you see him? He's a wily one, this one. He's on, all over the place trying to throw me off my aim. Oh, I, can't, I can't hit him to save my life. What? A rubbish. Get him. There we go. One and two. And there we go. Oh, more skeletons! This is excellent. This is uh, this is good fun. Although it's a complete waste of my bow. I really don't need to be doing this, but I like uh, I like it. Wow! Did you see him? He went miles then. And uh, there's another zombie coming over there now. I like being up here though, because they can't get me, can you? No, you can't get me. I'm totally safe and protected by you from from you guys on my giant statue. And last one. Boom! Right, <laughs> I'm going to carry on building now, otherwise uh, I'm never going to get this thing done. I'm going to hop back down and have a look at how I've got on. I've not done too many... Whoa! Levels ah! of the red. Two baby ones! One with gold armor! No! No, go away! I'm weak! I'm weak! Ah! I hate you guys! Ah! Creeper! No! 43 levels! Oh, no! 
That's what you get when you don't have any armor on and you're playing about in the desert. It kind of looks like he's pulling up his shirt at the moment. Uh, the uh, the old skeleton in the background there, but there it is. And there is a scream creeper right next to it, so I've got to be really careful here that the creeper doesn't blow my stuff up. Can I put my armor on while I run around? I'll give these guys the run around through the middle there and uh, over the top get some more of this stuff. I don't want to fall into that hole though because that's going to be a definite death trap. But I have 43 levels! 40, do you know how many skeletons I had to die in my XP trap for to get 43 levels? I'll tell you. You've stole my pickaxe! Hey! Hey! No! No stealing pickaxes! No stealing pickaxes. I need those. That's my silk touch one to be fair. Whoa! Uh oh. Shulker box is gone. Shulker box down. Shulker box down, but it is safe. It's okay. It hasn't broken. That's a And you got my chest plate! Hey! Get off! Get, this is this is dangerous. I thought it was me earlier going, oh look at me, I'm dead safe on my statue, and then boom, it all goes wrong. Right, let's uh, let's do it a quick sit rep then, see what we've lost in the in the battle. I've got my silk tux pickaxe still, that's handy. Uh, I've got my chest plate still, that's good. I've got my sword, I've got my axe, I've got my spade, and I've got my bow. So we are pretty okay at the moment. I think we did okay. I don't think we lost anything there. So so that was okay in the end. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, I think that's a good point to start doing my uh, little green logo in the middle. It's a creeper face. So if I just take my chair plate off quickly, it's uh, it's just there, look, hiding behind my trousers there, my diamond leggings. Right then, we're just about there. So I'm going to start it on this level. It doesn't go all the way well along. It is only in the middle. So if I look at my top again briefly, we've got the, uh, it's it, there's like a couple of bits to the side. In fact, if I let's have a look at myself like this, we might be able to get a bit of a clearer look at it here. So yeah, there's a there's a row down the, each side, and then it's in from there. So let's let's do that then. So if we leave that one there, we'll just start here, and we'll see how we get on like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so we need to go seven up as well because it's a square. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need another line at the top like that there and then the eyes again let me look at this like that there and there and then the nose is oh, the nose is in the middle but we haven't done this wide enough and let's just do the mouth like that and hopefully that'll look kind of creepery from the outside we'll go down in a minute and have a look but I've got a feeling it's gonna look a little bit squished around the edges All right, let's break that away ah! oh, I'm so rubbish <laughs> I could fall off anything I could. I could I could fall off the ground. Right, let's have a look at that. Uh, you can't really see any detail on it, but um, it'll do for now. I'll, I'll make it better on when I do the one on the next side, and then we'll copy that one instead. No, 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 no. Where, where did... You stole another one of my... Oh, you got my other pickaxe. I'm glad he came back, because he had my pickaxe. I didn't realise I'd lost that one. You sneaky little... Oh, bye, bye, Eki Flip. Right, so let's go around this side and see if we can do it a bit better then. And another eye needs to go here, and we'll just finish it off there like that. And I think it needs to go one more higher up as well. And then uh, again, we'll jump down, or I say we'll jump down, I'll probably fall down again, because that's... Ah! There we go, see? Told you. I missed a block there. I, I can't go down without uh, placing that last block there. It's going to be difficult to tell the uh, the pattern on it anyway, just because of the fact that it's see-through and there's a lot going on inside, but... Uh, yeah, you can't see a thing, can you? I think, actually, the mouth needs to go up another one and the eyes need to be higher up. But I'm going to leave it for now. I'll finish that detail off at the end. I just want to get cracking and get this thing finished off. Right, okay, I've run into a little bit of a problem here. Two things. A, I've only got six pieces of red um, jumper. Jumper? Got us left. And the other one is the rib cage has got a little bit wide here, which is going to make it difficult to actually bring it round. So I'm actually going to have to widen his body a bit at the top, which I suppose is not that unrealistic from a human because you do sort of go out a bit at the top, especially if you're a little bit muscly. So, um... Yeah, so we're going to have to do that, but I am going to have to now go, A, to bed, because it's been a disaster uh, with all the mobs working down here at night, and other, the other thing is I'm going to go and uh, get some more, um, yeah, I'm going to go flower picking for some more red flowers and make a load more red glass so we can finish this off, because I want to get this done today, and look at this, there's even more, there's more zombies coming now, go away, what are you holding? Oh, you've got a piece of my glass, have you come to fetch it for me? Oh, thank you. Can I have it then? 
Can I have it? Yes? No? I'm going to have to kill you for it, mate. Oh, you're playing chase. Oh, no, you're not playing chase. You're playing attack. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well, at least I got my uh, bit of uh, red glass back. Yes. Let's have a look at it. He's... <laughs> He's nearly there. We're about halfway. I thought we were much further than that. I thought we were nearly there with the uh, with the red, but we're only about halfway. So I've got some serious flower picking to do now. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Right then. So I've done a lot of flower picking. I've, uh, I've really stocked up on my uh, my glass again now. It's taken uh, yeah a lot long time. I hate flower picking. Basically, all you've got to do is go around dropping down loads of bone meal and then waiting. Well, hopefully getting some flowers and then. Uh, picking the flowers then putting more bone meal down and then clearing all the I mean grass that gets in the way uh, yeah it takes ages right then we're just about at the top we've done the, we've gone past his collarbone I've got a bit of a random block here though I'm not sure why that's there let's get rid of that and that one that one does need to be there and yeah so we're just about at his neck so we're going to stop the red line um, here because obviously that's going to have to be his head underneath there so I've only got one more layer to go up and then we'll just fill in the top of that and then that's the whole of the jumper done and I've got I think just about enough blocks left to uh, to finish this off so that's good uh, so then yeah it's just the head left to do so I'm I'm pretty happy I'm quite happy uh, with how this is all gone um, I'm looking forward to doing the head that's uh, that's the bit I'm looking forward to the most and I have fallen down from this more times than I can count I think but uh, it's worth it it's all worth it and thank goodness for my feather falling boots because if I didn't I would have been dead so many times so now I've all I've got to do is fill in this top whoa, top layer of the red um, glass and then uh, yeah then we'll work on his head and it is nearly night time again uh, the only thing I haven't really thought about with this is what it's going to look like at night obviously there's no lights or anything in there so it might be nice to uh, to get some lights on here somehow uh, one way or another I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but I think that could be useful even if it's just to uh, keep the mobs from spawning on top of him uh, but uh, yeah we'll worry about that uh, slightly later in the uh, in the build Ah, missed again. <laughs> Useless. Useless. There we go. This is what it's looking like. I've just had a very quick sleep in the villager's bed because uh, it was getting night time and there was a lot of mobs about again. And they're, uh, they're all pretty much still there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's coming on pretty well. So I still need to do the bottoms of his hands uh, with the black wool and I still need to do his heads. But I'm, I'm pretty ha happy with how this is going so far. Here I am then at the face. So this is going to be hopefully somewhat like my face. So let's have a quick look at mine. Let's take my hat off so we know what we're looking at. So at the bottom, we've got two rows of sort of light gray and white. We've got the nose, we've got the eyes and we've got the ears at the top. Now I know the skeleton has a mouth, but we're just going to have to work around that so the eyes are going to be pretty much in line oh they're actually going to be lower down hmm this is going to be tricky uh, let's just do two rows of white first and let's see how we get on with that and it is obviously going to go wider than the skeleton as well so we've got to take into account for that so i'm going to uh, yeah i'm going to have a bit of an experiment at building this and then when i when i think i've got something relatively good going on and I'll uh, I'll cut back in and uh, I'll show you guys uh, where we're up to with it because otherwise this could take all day right then I've put the face on I've had another cheeky sleep in the villagers bed and uh I'm not overly keen with it at the moment. The skeleton doesn't match up with the spatial features, which is the least of the problems at the minute. I kind of think the head needs to be bigger. Um, I think it needs to come out a bit more. But if I do that, I have to then make the skeleton even bigger. And I don't really want to do that. And I have left a pile of dirt up on his shoulder, which isn't overly good. So I think I might leave the dimensions for now. Um... And I just might sort the skeleton out so it matches up more closely with the face. Uh, because I don't really want to do like a human -y face. So I'm going to finish it off. I'm going to uh, do a bit of tidying up. And then I think that should just about do us for today. Okay, so finally, that's taken me ages. I've redone the head. I've made it bigger. I've redone the sc skull completely. And uh, yeah. I finish it off and I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with that. I know it's in a very basic pose. I've also fixed the uh, the picture on the front and the back and I'm a bit happier with those now as well. And I think it looks really good. So let's just have a little wander around it. Let's get a good view of it from all the sides and uh, so you can really see what's, uh, what's gone into it. And it's taken a long, long time, as you well know. I've been recording for well over an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, um... 
But I think it's worth it. It's very unusual. It's very different. But I think it stands out. I think it's very striking. I think, obviously, it's big. Um, but I think I think it's something that is worth putting the effort into. It's something that's unique. It's unique for me. It means something in the sense that it's, you know, uh, it's taken a lot of effort. It's a, it's a, it's a picture of my, my um, skin. And hopefully... Uh, you know, over the next few episodes and so, all this area will get built up and he'll blend in with other things that are around him. You know, we'll have things around his legs and maybe we could do like a little garden around it or something like that. But I'm I'm really happy with it. So you can't really see from here and I, I don't really want to have to pile up again, but I've moved the, the mouth. The mouth now goes all the way around the sides and it lines up with the third layer of, uh, of his uh, white bit if you can see you can't really see very well down here and i've also lit his head up inside with a few torches as well uh, just so that at night time it doesn't look too dark and also try and stop more monsters spawning in him but i think i think it looks pretty good i think it's successful i'm really happy with it and uh, i hope you like it too but that is gonna have to do me for now so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to very quickly i'm gonna pile up onto uh, some wood so we can get a little bit more level with it so i could say bye to you uh looking at my picture in the background so if i take my armor off now and uh, do this there we go and we can see it's not too different is it i know it's it's not exactly the same but I, it's good enough i'm happy with it i think I think it's really good. I'm impressed. So, uh, yeah, as usual, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll, I really hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!